hello beautiful people uh like share and subscribe um so let's hit the nail on the head um please if it is the first time listening to this channel because like share and subscribe here in this channel i'm not partis i'm okay i'm partisan for good governance and um, i spill the truth i don't care who it touches you understand it's only the truth that will set us free um so of recent uh, you know the drama happening in rivers between wiki and fabra uh, the governor where we came was to impose himself uh so reno mokri um in the light of the incidents that's happening in rivers wrote an article so in the article uh based on what i understood his summarization is that uh, godfatherism is cool you understand and respect of um, um, um respect is, is supposed to be whether the person erring is wrong or right i don't know whether you get the point i'm trying to say and funny enough a lot of people agree with him so reno mokri was saying that godfather godfatherism is a cool thing now it begs to the question because he was using the yoruba culture of uh, omolabi and saying that um you know it's cool that tinibu installed according to him oh, he said tinibu installed 11 governors or 10 if um if maybe that's what i read because i read yes that Tinibu is told more than nine governors and from the south, uh, west, uh, and uh, south, south, and even north central, based on what Reno Omokri is saying. So, from what Reno Omokri is writing, Reno Omokri is saying that what happened in River State should never happen, that the Fabura should always uh, bow down to and uh, worship to Wiki. Whether Wiki is saying, based on rumors, that he should bring 25% of River State allocation, you understand? and Wiki would boss him, Wiki will appoint all the appointees despite the guy being governor. So I want to ask, uh, because a lot of Yoruba seem to agree with Warren Omokri in the comment section. Uh, so I want to ask some of the Yorubas listening to, um, 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 uh, that read, that is listening to my voice. Is, is it okay for, is it cool for God, for, for that reason to be happening in Nigeria? So what is happening in River State? Apart from you being an APC member liking Wiki, in your own clear conscience, are you saying it's cool for Wiki to be controlling uh, the present governor? If, okay, apart from even just controlling, is it also cool for Wiki to demand for 25% of river's revenue? One man, oh, why the millions of people living in rivers will be improvised? By the way, I heard the Fabura too is a thief. You understand? So, him and Wiki, it's a partnership of thievery. But that's not the by the way i'm talking now nah, i'm talking about the godfatherism case are you people saying that slavery is cool to to be slave to a system i don't know because a lot of Yorubas tend to agree with him in the comment section you understand uh, are we saying can we move forward with godfatherism have you ever seen any nation where which moves forward with godfatherism you understand have you ever seen any i want to ask i'm just asking series of questions so this is not an insult i want your guys to reply me because if you go to the comment section in what he wrote a lot of yoruba seem to agree with him that it's okay to uh, for god for we to have godfatherism in the system and that means indirectly it's also okay for uh, one person to be collecting 50 percent because we heard that's what tenable collects in lagos collect 50 percent of the revenue or dominate all the uh, what do you call it juicy positions in the states and control all the affairs is it how america and the rest of the world that introduced democracy to us is that how they developed is it not better we just cancel democracy and go into kingship system because that's what i understood from where Ray democracy has been writing he has been writing of recent that oh godfatherism is a cool system can you see how this man fake man who calls himself a man of god a fake pastor and uh, i don't even know what to say because this all these things is trying to promote it will consume him it consumed his uh, great grandfather what the first minister of finance this wickedness this reno mokri is trying to promote it consumes his great grandfather so it also consume him so i'm asking is that how we are going to grow as a society this who we'll go and check if who is the first finance minister and what happened to him because reno mokri is promoting almost promoting wickedness in the country of recent remo mokri has been promoting yoruba supremacy he does it stylishly if you're an educated person and you have a neutral mind you will understand what he's saying yes remo mokri writes good um what do they call it good um articles on um, um improving yourself as a human being which i've stopped reading in totality because even though he writes 
search good, promote some good articles, maybe your self value and you know creating wealth and you know being a better person. He also writes all these negative articles. Of recent, he has been promoting Yoruba supremacy. He does it stylishly, and I'm telling you what he does because I, I used to follow this man and read read what he said. Why is Reno Mokri trying to divide Nigeria further? Why is Reno Mokri? What is his agenda? You understand? So when you look at this whole thing happening in Nigeria, you start wondering. Okay, let's assume that what uh, Reno Mokri is saying is true. That um, 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 Godfather is a school. Go and read all the articles. He even chipped in how we skid. Yeah, bow down to people and how everybody must bow down. What Reno Mokri doesn't understand also is that people have different cultures. Everybody mustn't bow down to a human being. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody mustn't bow down. That you don't bow down doesn't mean you'll be great or you'll be less. Okay, let me ask a simple question. Have you looked at the poverty index in Nigeria? Are the Eurobars doing better than, apart from the North, which everybody knows is uh, poor, are the Eurobars doing better than other states in Nigeria? In terms of poverty index, in terms of people that have more than five hundred thousand uh, naira in account, are the Eurobars the Eurobars have more uh, more people with five hundred thousand uh, naira in their account? So these are questions. That when you when you want to promote superiority, you must promote it with claim. Are the are the Eurobars building better cities in the country? Are they individually on their own building the cities, world class cities? Because Nigeria doesn't have any world class city. You understand? Do they have any Yoruba place where the schools are world class, hospitals are world class, everything is world class compared to the rest of the Nigeria? If he's trying to, this Reno Mokri is trying to promote the narrative of superiority, because some of you don't, you read the article, but you should look deep. This issue of superiority is not only, apart from this article, it's not only Igbos, uh, Yorubas that do it, also Igbos do it sometimes. Aosas do it. But the question now is the whole Nigeria, is there any tribe that is showing superiority in their lifestyle, in their cities, in the electricity they have, in their roads, in their lower level of poverty, in their, in their level of education amongst all their populace? So these are the questions you need to ask. This Renomo Creek is spreading a very type, wicked type of narrative and it will consume him. Those of you that know him should advise him because his karma is going to come and it's going to be bad and I'm going to celebrate it on this channel. Anybody supporting APC, the most almost all of them are mentally deranged. I have I have a, I have friends support APC. I tell them in their face that they are mentally deranged. This idea of Nazi Nazi superiorism and all this, it will not take you anywhere. Everybody should should sit down and be humble. So the question I'm asking now, uh, let me just summarize it. So uh Yorubas. Do they, uh, are, they, are they going to be slave to a system where Tinibu, based on what Reno Mokri is saying, is controlling all the system? And Reno Mokri is endorsing it that Godfatherism is a cool system. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I just want to I just want to have an open discussion. Maybe if people are cool with it, maybe you also can go and also read the article. Because it mentioned whiskey and all those things. You understand? The attribute of respecting people is good. But should we continue respecting elders that have destroyed us, that have improvised us? I'm asking you a simple question. Should we continue to respect people that have destroyed us, made us poorer, made our people sick, no hospitals, no health care, nothing? In Delta State, before you become a governor, you must go and meet a criminal Ibori. Is that worrying no Chris and Dawson? I don't know. This Nigeria, when I say they love educated literate, some people will abuse me. This Nigeria is an insane country. In fact, sometimes I just I start wishing that maybe God would have put me in another country, but every country has problems. But the problems that Nigeria have is if a problem, if not well handled, there will be another war or another crazy scenario in that country. God will be causing all this ethnic hate, ethnic superiority, and all this uh, um, endorsing wickedness like APC that kills 3,000 people to consume all of you.